Chairman uh, Griffin, would you uh, wish to reply to that in any way? Uh, yes, ma'am. I mean, she obviously, in, in great respect for uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, Jackson Lee, uh, she obviously has a very different district than mine, but they're both uh, related to fossil fuel uh, industries. And it's one of the reasons why I think we have to work on climate change by working on research and development, as I said in my statement because we're not going to get rid of the fossil fuels as much as some may wish for that in the, in the near future. Uh, to go to a total renewable system, as uh, one of the witnesses, uh, Ms. Silverstein, said in front of Energy and Commerce a few weeks back, we have to build a lot of high-powered electric lines across the country in order to carry the, the electricity from these new sources of energy, whether it be wind, solar, or other uh, renewables. That's going to take uh, her estimate. I, I gave her a number of would it be more than 20 to 30 years? She said yes. So we have to keep that in mind. And when we look at the rest of the world, obviously other parts of the world are not ready to go in that direction anywhere near as much as we are. So that's why I'm a big believer that we must do more research. And I thank you for that opportunity to say that yet again. And I, I don't think that's in disagreement with what Congresswoman Jackson Lee was saying. Um, it's just a, maybe a slightly different look at it, but it's the same idea. Now, I will tell you in, in, in my district, and I've had the one of those rare opportunities uh, that, that come around sometimes in life. I've lived in the same community for more than 60 years. And during that time, we've had some warmer winters than others. I would say on general rule over the last 10 or 15 years, it's a little bit warmer. Uh, being in the mountains of Virginia, not the coastal area, but in the mountains of Virginia, we've always been subject to flooding. And, you know, it's in my high school yearbooks uh, when, when there were big floods. And we still have some flooding, but I don't see any really large uh, increase in that uh, amount of, uh, of flooding. It's just that we have it. It depends on the year. It depends on the part of my district because it's a district the size of the state of New Jersey, a little bit bigger. And so sometimes we'll get flooding in one part and not in other parts of the district. Uh, I would say that my sense is, is that our spring migration of birds, I'm a birder, and so I pay attention to those things, seems to come a little bit earlier. So we're seeing some effects, but nothing nearly to the catastrophic level that, uh, that Texas has seen or some of our uh, lower areas and, and some of our warmer areas have seen already. Um, and so we obviously we'll have to uh, try to figure out how we manage that, manage those changes in the environment at the same time trying to reduce our carbon footprint by all means necessary. Thank you very much. What excellent witnesses. Uh, Congressman Simpson, do you have any questions? No, no questions. Thank the witnesses for Thank testifying. You. I reiterate that. Thank you both very, very much. We'll uh, now move on to Congresswoman Jennifer. Thank you for having me.